Hey, I'm Gabriel, also known as Gabo the Guy. I'm passionate about traveling and taking people on amazing adventures. I'm on a journey to discover northern Portugal and experience the region's unique culture, astronomy, and beautiful landscape. Let's visit Porto in the North. On this episode, I'm going to explore how luxury, fashion, and lifestyle are being redefined these days in northern Portugal. I will experience fine dining at the best restaurants, stay at the most luxurious hotels and spas, and get to learn more about the latest trends in Portuguese lifestyle. This is Luxury, Fashion, and Lifestyle in Northern Portugal. My journey begins in the city of Porto. From here, I will explore northern Portugal, crossing the impressive Marau Mountains all the way up to the region of Trashes Montes. I'll head south to the Douro Valley wine region before going back to where it all started for one last day in Porto. Downtown Porto, where all the luxury brands are at. You can find all sorts of designer stores spread out across the city, from well-known international brands to renowned Portuguese shops. I'm in a mood for shopping, so I came to Mr. Moon's to get me a jacket for winter. Wow, look at this store. Yes, this looks nice. For the ultimate in quality and exclusiveness, I'm visiting Irish a world-class Portuguese tailor who has even designed suits for His Highness Prince Charles. Hi, Rose. Hello, Gabriel. How, How are, are you? you? Pleasure welcome. to meet. Welcome to my studio. Thank you so much. It would be an honor for me if you could make a suit for my trip to northern Portugal. The honor is mine. I'm going to take the measurements right now. At Ira's bespoke tailor, the love for tailoring runs in the family. Iris gave his first steps in the métier with his grandfather, who taught him everything he knows. After traveling the world in the quest for experience and perfection, he has now gathered a devoted clientele with studios in Porto, Lisbon and London. After the measurements and fitting, Iris wastes no time getting to work. Meanwhile, I still have a lot to explore in the trendy streets of downtown Porto. Next stop, a visit to the first soap and perfume boutique in the city. I'm about to walk in into Klaus Porto shop. This is the place where personal hygiene went from a basic need into a lifestyle. I think I'm about to get pampered. So let's go in. Amazing. Klaus Porter was created in 1887. That's 134 years of crafting high quality premium products. I'm also taking the opportunity Thanks. to have an exclusive shaving experience. It's by appointment only, so be sure to book it in advance. They use their own line of products, the Musgo Real, which is super relaxing and restorative. Hey! Klaus is not your regular soap and perfume store. They offer a unique workshop where we can learn all about the century-old process of making hand soap. It literally is a hands-on experience, as you get to make your own soap using the same methods they did back in the 19th century. It smells so good! To 
top it off, there is also a museum that tells the story of the brand throughout the decades. They became a powerhouse in design and marketing, often inviting artists to express their creativity by making original hand drawings an intrinsic part of their identity. Treating myself to some nice clothes and a relaxing shave has made me hungry, so I'm crossing the bridge over to the city of Villanova de Gaia for a very special lunch at the wine cellar district. Venom Restaurant and Wine Bar is located at the 19th century Graham's Port Wine Cellars. It's an historic and impressive setting, and it's considered to have the most wonderful view of the two cities, combined with remarkable gastronomy and an immersive wine experience. Although making all the way from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, this tuna fish is fresh and it, for me it represents the Portuguese cuisine in one bite. The Trasses Montes beef is known to be one of the best meats in all over Europe. Vinum brings the very best of Portuguese food to the table. Oh, it's time for the Royal Wagon. Yeah. Quite a heritage you hold here. That will be a flavor of honey, dry fruits, okay, and the oak. I would like to have you as a friend for the rest of my life. This was a delightful lunch here at Vinum and Rams, and I can now say that this place did not only offers an incredible view to the city of Porto, but also an exquisite an experience of gastronomy, wine, and luxurious lifestyle. After having this tour here in the wine shop, the collection of wine here is absolutely incredible. I can only invite you to come and try this vintage 40 years old port wine for yourself. To finish the day in style, I'm visiting a place known for creating the finest handcraft jewelry in Portugal and unveil the secrets behind the art of filigree. I came to the House of Filigree to understand what makes this technique so unique. Hello. Thank you very much. Most items are intimately connected to the Portuguese culture and history, such as the Portuguese caravel or the iconic Vienna heart. And what makes the Portuguese filigree so unique? The Portuguese filigree is the finest in the world. I wish I could learn how to be a filigree artist. Uh, of course, you can try. Can I? Yes, claro. Yes. That's great. Yeah. We are going to make, make a small knot. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to twist it like this. And one more time. Okay. Like this. That's great. Yes. All right. <laughs> try now, please. My turn. Yeah. Oh. Well, the people which are doing this work, they liked it very much. It's uh, some kind of dedication. It's a meditative, yeah. right? Yeah, like yeah. Going yeah. into this mantra of exactly. filigree. Exactly. Yeah. All right. What's the next move would be? Now we have to. Wow. Pronto. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, filigree is not only about tradition, it has evolved into luxurious jewelry pieces with a contemporary design. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Before continuing my journey north, I'm meeting Irish to pick up my custom-made suit. Hey, Irish. Hello, Gabi. 
Claudio. How are you? How are you? Good. Very good. Nice to see you again. Same here. I have your suit ready. Look at wow. it. This looks amazing. Uh -huh. Look what you it's like on. Yeah, I love it. Please try on. Wow. I think I'm going to try it on right now. And now the final touch. See? You're welcome. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Yes. See you soon. Enjoy. I've got all I need, and now I'm ready to get on the road and travel north to the region of Trasses Montes, which literally means behind the mountains. One and a half hour drive away on a very comfortable highway. My first stop is at the royally famous Vidago Palace Hotel. The Vidago Palace Hotel is an outstanding masterpiece of hospitality and a reference to luxury here in Portugal. The history of this palace takes us to the last days of the monarchy and to the beginning of the Roaring Twenties. Although the kings that built this hotel never got to enjoy it, it is travelers like me and you that get to have a taste of royalty. I was waiting for you. I hope you don't mind, I ordered your favorite red and booked this entire place for us. Sea bass with cauliflower puree and scarlet shrimp. An exclusive Portuguese meal for you and me. Saúde. How's your fish? Do you like your scarlet shrimp? One of the nicest things here about Vidago Palace Hotel is that you get to enjoy this beautiful golf course. 18 holes of pure joy. After finishing my golf session, it's time for me to get treated at the famous spa of Vidago Palace. One of the best things about it it has natural springs that burst mineral goodness. One of the things that led to the development of Vidago is the discovery of natural springs and mineral water. This is where it came from. This mineral water they have here in Vidago is really something. Ah, what a way to end my day. Now it's my time to get pampered. It's one o'clock. Tell, please. After a good night's rest, I continue exploring the picturesque northern mountains. Next stop, Braganza, where I'll be staying at the distinguished Posada. Hello. Thank you very much. Obrigado. Have a nice day. Cheers. Tell the Braganza, we we'll meet again. One of the reasons that brings me this far into the north is the G Posada restaurant, a Michelin star haven of sublime taste and flavors. The bread looks so fresh, like it just came out of the oven. Restaurant G offers an extraordinary gastronomic experience with seasonal local products, cooked and prepared with a contemporary twist by Chef Oscar Gonzalez. The cuisine we make in G Posada is a cuisine from local food, local products. In this region, we have so many kind of species from vegetables, fish from the river, from lamb, from everything. It's time for this egg to hatch. So we have uh, local food and Portuguese food. Everything is so fresh here, so bold, so lively and presented so beautifully. And I think you inspire yourself from nature, basically. Yes, from uh, local nature, because we have in the mountain. And uh, the mountain are the rivers and the, the colors. And uh, I like this, this region. Oscar just came and explained to me that this sea bass comes from the north of Portugal. 
And the fish from the north supposedly is much better because the water is cooler, so its flesh is a bit harder, which makes it even easier to cook. He decorated my dish with ink of an octopus coming from the Azores Island. Could you imagine the way that this ink made all the way to this restaurant to make it to my plate? The amount of thought dedicated in each plate. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. It's so my it's honor to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. I Thank hope you have liked the dinner. Thank you. Just one quick question before we head off. Tell me, sir. Whose painting is this? Um, this painting is from Grasa Mouraj. And uh, we have uh, here in Bragasa a museum with her known. I would definitely make that my first stop tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. It was a lovely dinner. The painting I saw yesterday at G. Posada left me intrigued. Grasa Morais is an artist that represents and symbolizes the entire region of Trashes Montes. I came today to the Museum of Contemporary Art of Braganza to discover more on this avant-garde artist. Bom dia! Grasa Morais was born in a small village close to Braganza. Her work reflects both her origins and her experience in a modern and continuously changing world. Her roots and early life experience are very present in her paintings, such as nature that can be fairly adverse wow. and frightening at times, or the role of women in society. Her work doesn't just evoke memories, it also echoes contemporary happenings and present-day questions, thus fusing past and present, local and global, in a permanent act of exposing and question. In this moving painting, Grasa Morais expresses the suffering of the refugees, the ones who are constantly on the move. On the next episode, I'll continue my journey through the best and most luxurious places in northern Portugal. As I make my way back to Porto, through the famous Douro wine region.